But the Bible tells us, as, as you walk through the museum here, you understand the history of the world, the true history of the world. It was a perfect creation, but sin entered and corruption entered, death entered because of sin. Adam, if you eat of that tree, you'll surely die. Death is the penalty for sin. The first death was in the garden when God made garments of skins and clothed Adam and, and Eve. The first blood sacrifice is a covering for their sin, a picture of what was to come in Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. You see, without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sin because the life of the flesh is in the blood. We forfeited our right to live in Adam, so death is a penalty, so a life must be given, death, bloodshed, to pay the penalty for sin, but it can't be an animal because the blood of bulls and goats can't take away our sin. We're not connected to the animals. A man brought sin and death in the world, so a perfect man would have to pay the penalty for sin. It can't be any one of us. We're all descendants of Adam, but it has to be a human being. Because a human being brought sin and death into the world. So God stepped into history to be that human being. The God man. The perfect man. Dying across, be raised from the dead. Offers a free gift of salvation. And you see, here's why I say it's a gospel issue. Because if you believe in millions of years, you're believing that there was not just death. But in the fossil record, which is where the idea of millions of years came from. There's examples of animals eating each other, bones in their stomachs. Originally, the authority of God's word says Adam and Eve were vegetarian and so were the animals. We weren't told we could eat meat until after the flood. In the fossil record, there's examples of cancer, tumors, lots of documented examples of diseases in the bones, arthritis, infections. Wait a minute, that was before, you're putting that before Adam? Because that's where the millions of years fits, before man. But after God made Adam and Eve, he said everything was very good. So you're saying now God's calling cancer very good? No, no wonder the younger generations have this problem with how do bad things come about. They don't understand it's a fallen world because of our sin, which is not God's fault, it's our fault. God stepped into history to save us from what we did. There are fossilized thorns in the fossil record said to be hundreds of millions of years old. But on the authority of God's word, it says thorns came after the curse. How could you have fossilized thorns millions of years before, uh, before man? These two things can't be true at the same time. And if you think about it, if you believe in millions of years, you are blaming God for death. You're blaming God for disease. That's an attack on the gospel. Because Jesus Christ stepped into history to die on a cross because death was the penalty for our sin. It's an attack on the cross. And if there was death and bloodshed millions of years before sin, what on earth does the scripture mean when it says without the shedding of blood there's no remission of sins? Tell me how you explain that. If there was already millions of years of death and bloodshed and disease and God said that's very good. You know what the Bible calls death? An enemy. It's an intrusion. And one day there's going to be a restoration where there'll be no more death. Death will be thrown into the lake of fire. A restoration. That's what the Bible says. We're going to be restored to what it used to be like. But what did it used to be like? Millions of years of death and disease and suffering. You looking forward to heaven? See how, how ridiculous that is? And when these guys like Andy Stanley say, you've got to believe the Big Bang and all the rest of it, people, the Big Bang came out of naturalism. People trying to explain the universe without God. And the Big Bang has the stars before the sun, before the earth as a hot molten blob, before water on the earth. The Bible has the earth first covered with water, never a hot molten blob, and then the stars and the sun and the moon on the fourth day. So when people say, couldn't God have used the Big Bang? No. How do you know? Because his word tells us that he made the earth first. And the Big Bang idea is man's view of what they call science coming out of naturalism, atheism. Why do we take man's views, evolution, millions of years, Big Bang, it, 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 that all came out of atheism to try to explain things without God and most of the church has taken that and said that's how God did it but his word says well it's wrong in Genesis 